Okay. Hi. Hi. Mm, today we're going to try something different, and I cannot block the. Hmm. Not being able to block the. Mm, mm, it's still shiny. <laughs> oh well, I can't make it not shiny over here. This word is words, by the way. So I have that book, uh, Fat Cat, and it has some rhyming words in it. Let me share the screen and. Okay. Ta da. In this book, I have different words highlighted different colors. And if they have the same highlight color, like this one is highlighted yellow, they're going to have similar sounds, okay? Which means they'll, they'll be rhyming words. And you'll see different words throughout this book. Right. But these are short stories about animals, and these might be a little easier for you. If these are too easy, we'll move up to something that's a little more difficult, okay? So I'm going to have you read to me. Is that okay? Hmm? Okay, so let's start with this. Cat. 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 Mm -hmm. A tan fat cat. Cat. A tan fat cat. They have the a uh, for the a. Nope. A tan fat cat run. Had a tan fat cat ran. This is all ah, 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 ah. A tan fat cat ran fast. Yep, a tan fat cat ran fast. Good. A tan fast cat is left. Mm -hmm. Last. A tan fast cat is sad. No, he is sad. Oh no. Cat's clap. Good. A tan fast cat has clap. Ah, this word is pals. Blouse. Yeah, it's going to be pals. 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 It's a little tricky because you have, um, let me turn on annotate for you also so that you can also write on it. Here we go. Okay, so. Pals is a little tricky because we have, um, you have this sound, right? Uh, uh, and then ah is like an ah, so it is not, it is not this sound, right? Because that's ah. Well, we don't have that um, in this right here, not yet. So we have pal, and then you're using this sound. Oh, actually, I should pay attention to my stroke order. Sorry. This sound, right? But it's more on the l sound than the r. So imagine the end of this sound here, 
and that is L, like la, 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 la. And then you have this sound at the end. But it's a, it's a hard because the S is at the end, okay? So it's, you have p -al -s -pals, pals. You try that for me? Yeah. yeah, that was closer. Yes. So you're separating. Imagine that you take the P and the A together, and then you have the L, and then you have the S. Okay. So pa, and then you run them together really quickly. So pa, pa, pa. Oh, very good, Jenny. Yes, excellent. All right. Very good. Okay. So let's stop this here. So, yes, very good, pals. Very excellent, Jenny. All right. Ten fast can is glad. Good job. Yes, he is glad. All right. What color is the cat? Do you remember? Brown. He is brown, but he's a special kind of brown. He is, oh, this. Tan is a yellowish brown. It's a in-between color, right? In the same way that we have other in-between colors, like pink is in between white and red, right? Tan is in between yellow and brown. But it is, you are correct. It is a brown color. Tan is a type of brown. This is his color, tan. Good job. Why is the fat cat glad at the end? Glad also means happy. So why is he happy? Because if we think about it, he was sad, right? They were in a race and he came last and that made him sad right and he was crying but then what did these cats do they clapped for him yeah yeah they did so they cheered him on didn't they they were good sports they were good friends right nice people they clapped for him to say good job and so he has pals right and that makes him happy so because he has pals who cheer him on he is glad look at that smile oh what a happy cat right what other words rhyme with cat Think of some words that rhyme with cat. Well, we can look up here and we can see another word already that rhymes with cat. What word is this? Casserole. Yeah. But a, a rhyme, a word that rhymes, a rhyming word, is words that have similar sounds. So they sound kind of the same, right? They will end with the same sound or have um, similar 
blending sounds in them, but most of the time a rhyming word ends in a si similar or the same sound. So if we look here, right, for cat, we have, oh, uh -oh. Mm -mm -mm. we have A-T. Well, we also have that over here in fat. So we have cat, then we have fat, right? Cat and fat, those rhyme. Well, what other words can we think of that sound like that? What do you wear on your head? If you go outside and you put something on your head, right, what is that? What kind of thing can you wear on your head that sounds like cat and fat? If I have, mm, oh, I have a very silly one. I'll show it to you. <laughs> this one is very silly. What am I wearing? Hat. What's, a hat, yes. I'm wearing a hat. And that sounds like cat, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a very silly Christmas tree hat. <laughs> I have a hat. I can also stand on a mat. And that rhymes with cat. I can, I also did something to this chair, right? What did I do in this chair? And I sat. I sat in this chair. And all of these rhyme, cat, fat, hat, mat, sat. Why do they rhyme, Jenny? What do we see here? At. Very good. They all end in at. And that is why they rhyme. What other words rhyme with ran? Do you remember some other words that we had in this orange sort of highlight color? Let's go back and look. Oh, this one is in that same color. Let's see. And ran. So if we, oh, uh oh, I went too far. So if we go back, right, we have ran and tan. So we have ran, tan. What other word can you think of that sounds like? ran and tan that ends with an an sound. If I I don't have an actual one like a hand, oh, you know what I do, actually. It's stuck to my thing, but here we go. What is this? Huh? Oh, it is a, 
this is a fan. A fan. Take that back up there. That is a fan. And that also rhymes with ran. Ran, tan, fan. <gasps> Let's think of one more word. Let's think about your mom and your dad. Your mom is a woman, but your dad is a He's like the grown-up version of a boy. What would that be? Mm, let's think. It's going to start with with a mm sound. The letter makes a mm sound. Ma. Very good, man. Yes, man rhymes. They all rhyme. Why do they rhyme, Jenny? What do they all end in? An. Very good. They all end in an. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to the next page. What other words rhyme with sad? Let's see if we can find some that are also highlighted in pink. Glad. Oh. Yeah, glad. glad rhymes with sad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Move that out of the way. There we go. Yeah, glad. <gasps> there is another feeling that rhymes with glad and sad. When, what if I make this face? My face looks. Mad. Yes, I look mad. mad. Mm hmm. Glad, sad, mad. And there's another word that rhymes with these words. It's not your mom, it's your... Dad. Yes, good job, Jenny. Yes, excellent rhyming skills. Glad, mad, dad. Oh, and if you are not good, you are okay. I think what yes, bad. Oh, and all of these rhyme. And let's think about why they rhyme. Why do they rhyme, Jenny? Ad. Good. Yes, they all end in ad, the A-D sound. So sad, glad, mad, dad, bad. Oh, they all rhyme. Okay. Last part. Make up a different sentence of your very own for each of these words. Fast, clap and pal. So let's come over here and um, you can type it with annotate here if you want to, or you can type it in the chat box. And we're going to think of a sentence that uses the word fast first, okay? So first, let's think of a sentence that uses the word fast. Mm, let's think of some things that we can do fast. What types of things can you do fast, Jenny?
Can you color fast? Can you run fast? No. Do you eat fast? <gasps> yeah. Okay. So we could say Jenny eats fast. No, Jenny doesn't eat fast. Okay. Well, then we could say oh, run fast. You don't run fast? You want to do run fast? Okay. Jenny runs fast. And that's our sentence. And we used the word fast. Let's do a sentence that uses the word clap. Let's see, what, how would you describe what I do right now? Clap. Yes, but who is clapping? You could say, teacher. Clap, clap. Yeah, teacher, clap. And we can add an S onto it. Claps her hands. <sighs> Yay, I clap my hands. Teacher claps her hands. And that's a sentence because we have a person, place, or thing, a noun. We have a person and they're doing an action. And that's all you need for a sentence. Your sentence could even be as short as you clap. Boom. We have a person. They did an action. You clap. That's a sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. Last word. Pal. Think of a sentence using the word pal, which also means friend. Let's imagine a sentence using the word friend, and then we'll substitute the word pal for friend. Mm. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. What kind of things do you like to do with your friends? Here, we'll start our sentence like this. I like to, and then we'll finish it with what you like to do with your pal or your friend. We'll, we'll leave a blank. I like to blank with my pal. What should we put in there? What do you like to do with your pal or your friend? Do you like to dance? Do you like to sing? Do you like to read with your friends? Or draw? You like to draw? Okay. I like to draw with my pal. And there's a sentence. I like to draw with my pal or with my friend. All right, last thing here. Now we're going to try to use all of those words together 
in one sentence. So we're going to use fast, clap, and pal all in the same sentence together. Mm, I think we can do it. Let's let's think about it. Mm. <coughs> let's use pal as our person that's doing the action. So let's say my pal, what can they do? Using the words yeah. clap and fast. Um, run fast. Yeah, my pal can run fast. Fast. Right? So then what do you do if they can run fast? So... So I clap. Hi. Yay. My pal can run fast. So I clap. Yeah. And we used all of our words in the sentence, right? We used pal. We used fast. We used clap. All of them in one sentence. Ta da! All right. Last part here. All right. These are, <coughs> I'm sorry. These are the skills that we learned in this story today. We learned our, or we used our short A vowel sound, which is Ah, and it's like ah. <laughs> Can you try that, Jenny? It's like ah, like you saw a mouse in your room, and you go ah. Hmm? And that's how it sounds. That's a short a ah. Ah. Mm-hmm. Our sight words for today were a and is. And we had some other words that were highlighted, but we used a and is a lot in our story, right? And we also had a lot of words that end with the letter S. Cats, claps, right? Ending in S. Mm-hmm. And then we also had words that start with C-L and G-L. What word started with C-L? Do you remember? This word. Clap. Yes, clap. Which word started with G L? Do you remember? Glad. Yes, good. Glad. And then we had our final consonant blend. A consonant blend, by the way, is when you take two different consonants and you put them together to make one sound. Okay, that like together. So we had a word that ended in ST. Do you remember what word ended in ST? Set. Close, but if I'm running, how do I run? Fast. Yes, fast. And that ends in ST. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
You did excellent today, Jenny. Was this fun? Did you like this better than the other stories? Or about the same? So we can, you did so well today on reading these that we can try a harder story next time, actually. I think we can go up a level because this story is a level one, but we have, level, oh no, did I exit off of it completely? Oh, <laughs> I didn't. All right, so we have, uh, mm, 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 mm. here we go. But now I'm, ah, here in this, in here, this is level one. All of these stories about those animals are level one. But then I have level two, right? And we'll try those next time, okay? Yeah. All right. Our class is over. Bye. Bye.